Hi friends, Mindy here. I have an unboxing for you today. This is the Archer and Olive quarterly subscription kit. I have been subscribed to Archer and Olive's kits for quite a while, uh, probably since like the second subscription kit that they came out with. Um, all with the exception of the last quarter. I paused the subscription for that one. I just was not interested in what was in that particular one. And at that time I had the option to pause. And so I felt like that was a better use of my money. So um, I have been kind of waiting to see over the last few quarters if they are going to take some of the feedback that people have been giving about what they would like to see in these boxes. And I feel like this box really represents some of that information, at least um, at the, from what I can see from people giving feedback in the Facebook groups and that kind of thing. So I was really excited to see the theme of this kit. Um, and so I'm just going to get into it. They have been shipping these just kind of as is with, you know, like a cellophane over the outside. But whenever they do that, my box just gets really, really beat up. So it didn't damage anything that was inside. But would they kind of, um, you know, kind of pride themselves on their packaging. But uh, mine got, mine just gets beat up when they send them this way. But I understand trying to, you know, limit how, like the box in a box kind of situation. So um, with that being said, I'm going to just dive right in. This is a vintage library theme, which is why I decided to go ahead and unpause my subscription. As a side note, they no longer offer that option. That's one of the things that they have changed and has also caused some um, angst, I guess, <laughs> with some of the customers. People don't like that they have done away with that option. So now you can either, you, if you have a subscription and you don't want that one, you can cancel and then resubscribe. You're not like locked in. To anything but the problem with that is like for someone like me who's grandfathered in at an older price uh when if i were to cancel a subscription and then join back in i will be having to pay the higher price um and so i i've, I've only really used the the pause feature the one time and then now they don't have it anymore so i'm not really sure what i'm going to do moving forward i'm going to wait and see what happens next quarter but for now i'm just going to enjoy this one because i actually really really like all of the items in this box so i'm going to open this up and trying to put this over here to the side uh, while i unbox everything there is a card in here that kind of gives some information about each of the items in this box and i am going to start with this cute little memo pad right here I'm trying to get this out of the way a little bit I just think this is super cute. This says that um, there are 48 sheets of 180 GSM paper in three soft colors. So the cover looks like this for this little memo pad, and I really like this. But on you can see that the three soft colors are like this light purple, and then kind of a cream color, and then a pink. And I just honest opinion about this, I don't really get this because these colors don't appear anywhere else in this box, the purple and the pink. I could understand if maybe it was like a blue and a mustard color or something, but it just doesn't, it doesn't match. And the other thing that I noticed is that it says that it's 180 GSM paper, but I'm only noticing that thick paper in this cream colored one. The purple and the pink are a thinner paper. And I, I'm only mentioning that because it specifically says that these are 180 GSM. And so I don't know if everyone's are like that or if I just got kind of a faulty one. They're also only printed on the front side. So, but I do like this kind of library, um, library card theme. So it doesn't have the author and everything like that printed on it. You can see they're just blank, but um, it just gives you a lot, an opportunity to kind of write in there. I will use these a lot for journaling spaces probably but I'm not really, really sure why the difference um, in the papers, but I will probably email them and ask about that. But anyway, I'm um, just throwing that out there because it did say that it is 180 GSM, so it's supposed to be pretty thick paper. The next item in the box are a set of calligraph markers. These are their um, dual tipped calligraphy or like brush tip markers. They have them in five colors. I'm trying to get the box open, sorry. Which are mocha, golden brown, yellow ochre, and slate blue and umber. So you can kind of see the color palette here. I'm not gonna do a swatch or anything. The only thing is um, the colors are, while they're on the back of the box, they're not written anywhere on the actual pen, which has been one of those things that they've consistently, the customers have consistently asked for is names on the barrels. Um, so anyway, if that bothers you, you 
you'll just have to do that kind of on your own. But that is a set of five of those. This item I actually really like as well. And this is a rotating date stamp. And it also has a little ink pad. The ink pads that they've given in the past, and probably this one too, are not my favorite. I'm just not a fan. Um, but I have plenty of ink pads, so I'm not really worried about that. But I really do like the... I like the typeface on this stamp. And I think it's like 10 years worth. So um, I think this is actually a very practical, um, very practical item for, for bullet journals and journaling really of any kind. So I was really actually excited about the rotating date stamp. There's also a set of oversized binder clips in here, which will also for me be quite useful. There are two in my box. Let me try to get the other one out. So they and they just kind of have that nice antique look to them. They're just like every other binder clip. They're just ginormous. So I love these. I think they're super cute. Let me set these off to the side as well. And then the there are a set of stickers in here. These are book and typewriter stickers. So it's letters, numbers, symbols. There's four sheets, and they are they are a matte finish in there. Um, like the fonts are just a little bit different. I don't know if you can. And there's um, like a, a white and then more of a cream. The color is just a little bit different. I don't know if you can see that. But plenty of letters too. So this would be good for um, like labeling the days of the week and that kind of thing. If you want to have like a typewritten um, sticker on there. Let me set that to the side. And then I'll open up the washi. I really, really love the washi this month too. So this one, I'm just going to pull these out so I can show you. This one I really love. I kind of messed this one up when I was trying to look at it, but I like this one because they look like little postage stamps. So you can kind of tear along those edges there. And I love the little, the look of the little postage stamps. I think that's super cute. And then this one you can see has the little like bookcase with some like gold foiling in there. And then there's just the gold foil stars and the skinnier washi tape. And then another size that just kind of has the different patterns from the kit there. So I actually really, really like all of the washi tape this month or this, this quarter. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up this bigger one. This is the A5 notebook that they have in, um, in the kit. There's been a lot of, you know, talk about wanting at least two journals um, or two, two notebooks in the subscription kits. And so uh, this is one of the ones. And this is kind of one of those situations where they have it in this beautiful box. But for me, the packaging, I could take or leave it. My, my journals aren't going to stay in the packaging. So they pay, put a lot of attention to detail in that. And I can appreciate that from a certain aesthetic. But um, again, I would rather see that spent elsewhere but that's just personal opinion so um it has this beautiful box and then the the journal itself is a an a5 size i think i mentioned that but it's a white dot grid so i'm just going to open up so you can kind of see um and one of the things that i just i love and i think i've said this in the past about archer and olive is the paper obviously the bright white. I also appreciate that their, their dot grid is really consistent typically. And I'm saying that for a reason I'll show you in the next journal, but, um, it's one of those things like just, I like having them kind of all even so that some journals that I've gotten from other companies, the dots kind of drift. And so you have an inconsistent page. And if you're trying to line up a calendar or something, it just makes it more difficult because your dots don't actually line up. I don't know if that makes sense, but that is one of the things that I truly do appreciate about our journal of journals is that that is very consistent typically. Um, but this has like an embossed design on it and some um, like foiling in there as well. It's a really, really beautiful journal. I, I really love this one. I love the cover on this one. And it's um, 192 pages. I can't remember if I, if I said that. I'm going to toss that back in the box. And then the last item in my little box is super cute. 
and it comes like this. So I guess if you like display yours on a, on a shelf, then like this, this would be super cute, but it comes, you know, so that you could display it and it's kind of hard to film that way. But, um, so there are two little notebooks in here. These are basically like oversized pocket journal, pocket size journals. They're a little bit bigger, I think, than a typical pocket size. Um, but you can see they're beautiful. They have, um, again, the kind of the foil and the embossing and the debossing on the covers and they just have such a nice feel like really truly like vintage library like old school kind of book feel to them so this red like color is actually a lined journal so i appreciate also getting some that are lined and some that are dot grid um because you can just use them for so many different things but again you can kind of see and i also really love that the the lines are not really really dark um, that's just kind of something I prefer personally in a, in a lined journal. And then of course you have your, um, the same features in terms of having your bookmarks and your pen loops and even the little folders in the back, even with the smaller size journal and the elastic closure and pen loop. So that is this one. It says noted on the side. And then this one is just the symbols on the side, but it's that same great pattern. Love the, this is less, uh, this is more of a, like a fabric feel. This one, the other one is like more like a faux leather. Um, but this one is dot grid. And it is that same 160 GSM dot grid. But what I wanted to show you with this one is, I don't know if you can see on here, because I was mentioning this with the other journal, that when you're flipping through, um, the dots kind of move on the page. And... I don't know, again, if this is just something that's this journal because they're not typically like this, um, but it is just one of those things that I noticed because when you are trying to line things up, it just, it makes it difficult and it's really hard to write, you know, when you, especially like this little dot is so much in the edge of there in the corner versus like right here. And I know that seems like nitpicky maybe, but I just feel like when you're spending this kind of money on these kind of journals, um, especially on a company that kind of prides themselves on the consistency and that kind of stuff of their journals. And that is really an, a feature of their journals. Um, this one is not, and again, it could just be one that I just, that I got that is just, you know, misprinted or defective and, you know, they, they may, um, correct that. I have had problems in the past where I've had issues with some of my things and they're very good. Their customer service is very good at making those right. So, um, I, I don't know, I don't know if everyone's is like that or if that's, that's just mine. It's just one of the things that I noticed when I looked at it, because again, that's one of my favorite features of the journals is that they're all really consistent and straight. So I know that again, I know that seems like really, really nitpicky. Um, but this is just my honest review of a box that I spend my money on. So I do love the fact that there are actually, technically speaking, three journals in this. I love the smaller size. I love the variety. This is what I signed up for subscription kit from them from the beginning was the variety of just different sizes and different styles, the lined, the dot grid, the, you know, pocket size versus the A5. I'd love to see some of those other bigger sizes that they had kind of at the beginning of their subscription boxes. Um, and again, I don't know if I'm going to continue. I can't honestly say right at this moment. I still have really mixed feelings about some of the changes that they have made to their subscription service. Um, so I guess I'll just wait and see what happens next quarter, but I love this theme. I'm really excited to use it. Um, I am a big book nerd, so um, having this kind of vintage library feel is something that is, I, I just really, really, really like this one. So I know I've kind of said things in the past about other kits that really weren't my favorite. So I do want to kind of, you know, give a shout out for, for the ones that I really, really do enjoy. So anyway, again, I'm not a affiliate within, with Archer and Olive at all or anything like that. This is just my honest opinion about this box. So I will link my playlist of other past subscriptions, if uh, unboxings, if you're interested in seeing those. Um, I have not done any like bullet journaling videos in a long time. So if that's something that you'd be interested in seeing, um, how I set up my, my bullet journal and that kind of stuff, just let me know. I'd be happy to do a video about that. Um, I know typically my channel is more Bible journaling and junk journaling, 
but um, I do bullet journaling as well, which is why I get these subscription kits. So if that's something that you're interested in, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.